So I came, I came across the Apprenticeship at Wakeman's at Complete Chance really, I was helping a family member do the apprenticeship application and I noticed the higher apprenticeship and legal services vacancy. I read the criteria, fit the um, job requirements, I applied online, I then sent a CV over to the training provider and had an interview and I've been here now for five years, so yeah. So I, over the past five years I've been at Waitman's, I've been in three different practice areas. First in employment, I then transferred to the occupational disease team and I currently work in the regulatory team, um, assisting in the preparation of healthcare inquests and also defending doctors who've been investigated by the GMC. But it's not just the work and experience which I've been involved in at Waitman's, I'm sort of involved in the wider work and life, so I'm part of the social committee um, plan events for the Liverpool office staff, um, which is quite exciting. Um, I plan the annual Waitman's Live event, which is really well received, so I, I enjoy that aspect of my um, role at Waitman's. And I'm also on the staff forum, so um, being a sort of voice for the staff members in the Liverpool office um, to sort of change policy and procedures within Waitman's as, as much as we can. So, yeah. So my plans for the future, I intend to stay at Waitman's once I qualify as a Charter Legal Executive and I want to progress within the firm and rise through the ranks as associate and partner and but I also want to be appointed as a coroner part-time as well. So my advice to those who are considering apprenticeship is if you know what career you want to do, research all the paths into it because apprenticeships aren't going to be for everyone because they are actually really hard work. You know, you're working full time and you have to find the time to study as well. But th there's so many benefits in an apprenticeship, you know, the whole in and whilst you're learning and actually being involved in the, in the practical aspect of working is speaks volumes and it, it's so much more for employers than, you know, having that sort of only academic experience. So my advice would be to really consider an apprenticeship, but as I say, research all routes as much as possible.